Hi right there in YouTube land. Kind of taking a break from sawmilling. We're up at the Howard County, uh, Howard County Fairgrounds. And they have an auction here every spring. And there is just an, a, a more enormous amount of stuff here. It goes all the way from all those trucks and cars up there. Then it comes down, we'll turn you around slowly. Goes all the way down and there's two or three buildings down there. And all the sheds over there have stuff in them. So we'll just look around at all the stuff that I don't need to look at. I did see one thing that I liked. Um, it was over there. And eh, we'll go over and take a look at it. See if you guys recognize it. And there's just all sorts of stuff. I'm kind of walking, watching where I'm walking more than I'm doing. It's windy out here. We are right next to the interstate. Of course, now I can't see what I was looking for. So far, there's only one thing I need to own. But to come up here and take a whole day to bid on it would be kind of a crazy thing to do. You can see there's just anything you can imagine is here and more oh here it is over here this this thing wouldn't go till probably four in the afternoon it starts at nine how many of you guys recognize what this thing is look at that do you recognize what it is you ought to you see it run a lot anyhow we're gonna go walking down here and just kind of I'm sure I'm gonna run in I've already run into a few people I know crazy people that think they need junk like I do how about an engine or a bicycle or uh, I don't know what that is oh that looks like a whetstone grinder that's kind of neat um, just anything you can imagine is here and I've in the past used to come out to this thing every year and I've got some good Good memories here and good things here and a few things that weren't so good, but I would have to say more than more than not, I got good deals here. Or what I thought was a good deal. But the way I buy things, ouch, I got stabbed by one of my stickers in my pocket. One of my one of these things. Have you seen these? The needle got me in my pocket. This thing here might work. Looks like a leaf vac or, or something. Or snowblower, or I don't know what it is. Maybe for sucking up uh, sawdust in a sawmill. Buckets here, buckets here, buckets here. I got no idea what that thing is, but it looks important. Look at all this stuff. Don't see anything down that road. Buckets, cola packer, a few things like that. Don't need that. Don't need any of this. The best auction I ever go to is one that I don't have to buy anything. Ooh, look at that monstrosity. Try to figure out what that is. Oh, it's a mower. When it stands up like that, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. And they'll have a few uh, pieces of equipment here. Look at that. Now, this ought to be a low buck auction this year. Because here I am in Maryland, and we got no snow this year, so there's no snow money, if you know what I mean. Um, the contractors that usually go out there and make all sorts of crazy pocket money out of plowing snow didn't get any money this year. Here's some more of the stuff that's going out. Down here they usually have the down here's where they usually put the air compressors. Need a gas can? They got the market cornered on gas cans. Generators. There's usually some pretty neat stuff down here. This is a pretty good piece here. Oh, uh, what do we got? It's a Don't know what it is. Transmission. But I know it's Detroit. Looks like a 53. I think it's a 53. Uh, I can't see how many cylinders there are, but it's probably got more than one. There's a fuel tank for it. My goodness, it likes fuel, doesn't it? 
but it's got a thermostat here going to these louvers go up and down that'd be a neat piece to have for fun big air cleaner might have to might have to think about that I haven't bought an engine yet this year and I need another engine like I need a well you guys can fill in the blank on that a little heater all right, let's keep going. They usually put the boats and motorcycles over there. And every one of these barns will be full. Every one of these barns will be full. And there's one barn, two barns, three barns, four, five, six, six or seven barns as you go down the row. Surprised I haven't run into more people that I know. Which is good because they didn't mess up the What's up there? Ain't nothing here? Aren't the barns full? Yeah, but ain't nothing worth having. There you go. Well, that's good. Then a nice little Detroit up there. Do you see that Detroit? I don't know what the thing is. They got a uh, PTO unit off the back. I didn't see that. I think it looks like about a 453. This little shed. On the other side of that bobcat right there. Oh, okay. That yellow thing and the tank there oh, goes yeah, with it. Yeah, okay. So whatever it ran, it ran for a long time with a tank that size. That guy I was standing with earlier, he's a, he's a, he's a Detroit guy. Oh, really? Oh, he's got a shit load up. <laughs> there we go. We can gamble a little we bit in here. I'm torture. Yeah. Doing a YouTube here. How much junk can you torture yourself with? There's something here for everybody. Did you see that Detroit power unit? What is that? A 353, 453? 353. Oh, that's kind of what I thought it was. I got a little nice 253 at home generator, 20 kW generator. Is this harbor freight pump filter? I don't know what it is. But there's a lot of it. <sighs> yeah, who's gonna who's gonna win the raffle? <sighs> Hello, haven't seen you in a couple years. How's it been? Good. That's good. Looks like you got a pretty good turnout this year. I think this, this barn here always used to be full of stuff too. They might have it locked off. They got a lock here, so I imagine it's locked off. Huh, that's kind of strange. Down here is the Ophis. They'll have, in, in the days of past, now this is trying to, I think they're trying to get back on track after COVID. All this used to be full. This where they uh, have some interesting stuff also. The whole place got interesting stuff. You're, you're able to find anything here. Um, more stuff down here. All the lawnmowers and stuff are way down here. We'll go down there and work our way back through some of these um, barns or just peer in the front of them so you can see the kind of size this is. They usually have four, five, six auctioneers going at the same time. And it'll start at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I've been here till as late as 8 o'clock at night sometimes trying to own stuff that I shouldn't own. There's a nice little tube. I need one for my pond that doesn't have any water in it. Don't need too many rocks. I got a lot of those. I keep plowing them up. We're just going to kind of oversee this down here. See all the lawnmowers. Did you need that lawnmower over there? Snow blowers. Every snow blower in Maryland's probably for sale down here. Track vacs, tires. There must be, I would say, a couple hundred of them there. There's probably 25 per row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rows. And they go all the way down to that white truck. There's a lot of stuff there. So 
So we're not going in there. They don't. That's the big main exhibit hall. They don't get into there. I don't know whether this food stand will be open. They usually have a uh, food truck that comes in up here. They're probably the people making the most money. Yeah, I've been coming to this auction for, I would say, 30 or better years. This is where I bought my fire truck. Did you ever hear the story about the fire truck? Yep, I accidentally bought a fire truck here. Actually, I didn't buy it. I traded a, traded a friend my uh, bidding number, and he was teasing me, and that's how I ended up getting it. He bought it. He bid my number, and I got it, and it was one of those things you go, oh, crap, what am I going to do with a fire truck? But I made a lot of money on it. Every one of these, every one of these sheds is just full of stuff. How you doing? Good, how you doing? YouTubing. You'll be on YouTube tonight. Here, here you go. You can look yourself up. Visit my YouTube channel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Thank too. You. A lot of things you don't need here, aren't there? Uh, everything here. <laughs> oh man, just big barn after big barn. These barns are beautiful. They made these, I don't know how many years back. We'll walk through this one just to get a walk through because we don't have much much else going on. I was cleaning up back at the sawmill today. Everybody looks at me like I'm a nut because I'm talking to myself. Anything you can imagine will be here. There's a bunch of whiskey bottles back there. Full. Hardware store clean outs. I guess that's what this is. Aluminum. Looks like aluminum chair. Nope, it's wood or plastic. I don't know what it is. They still got a... I didn't even know they had that place over there full. They usually got uh, wood in, in these places. Um, sawmill wood. But I don't see any. Maybe it's... Oh, this is a big new building in here. Oh, my goodness. There's tons of stuff in here, too. Nice air compressor back here. There's a nice tent. Let's go see what manufacturer that tent is. Always need something to keep you dry. Oh, I think they're going to be making kettle corn back here. They're not, I don't think they're uh, selling that. You need a, you need an axe, hatchet, axe. I guess these are axe. I guess if you knew what they were worth, some of those might be valuable. I think they're going to be making kettle corn back here. I don't think that they're selling that tarp. What is the name of that tarp? Uh, we'll get the name just, just in case. Nah, that's pretty spindly compared to mine. That's a that's a one that stays indoors. But you never know. There's some sawmill lumber over there, but not much of anything to speak of. What is this piece over here? <laughs> little nice little mill lathe. That's a, that's a nice little piece there. You pick it up for. Two or three hundred bucks, you'd be all right. All right, what is this piece? Uh, it looks like a shear or something, maybe a press. Don't know. You guys could tell me what it is. It's heavy. There it is. All steel press. This is a, I don't know, but it's there. And here's another one of these. That looks like a wheelchair for a van or something. This is a nice thing. Shibe, you need this thing to, uh, put them roadside logging into your uh, van all right we've done this place out uh oh they locked us in so how many things have you seen here tonight leave a comment I'm gonna put this one in between some of that sawmill and I'll tell you what if you needed snatch blocks cables I bought two of those, remember, up at Carlisle? Those are nice. And they pretty well got the uh, C-clamps. Got every C-clamp you'd ever need. Let's see if we can get out of this door. Up there, steps there. I don't want to do that. Too clumsy to go down steps. 
I've seen a lot of stuff in here. That does this place out. That looks like a big uh, sander there. How you doing, guys? Yeah, oh, doing? thank you. <laughs> YouTubing. Thanks. Hey, we'll go up to this next barn. We'll walk through. See what kind of nonsense I can get into. Now you know why I come to the daggone thing. Still thinking about that Detroit engine. That Detroit engine would be a fun toy. Like I need another Detroit engine. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a lot of those. I think those are some kind of light bulbs. Yeah, circuitry. Just tons of stuff. Now, if you guys were up at um, the Paul Bunyan show, remember when we were I was making those name tags? I'm sure that you've seen those name tags before. That name tag maker thing came from this place right here. It was stuck right in a corner like that over there. And nobody bit on it. And I got it. Ugh. Oh, this guy already found something. I got a feeling that wasn't supposed to happen. But you never know. Roller skates, you need roller skates. Mm. Just 10 tons of stuff. But like I said, man, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be on the move in this place because like I said, they have four, five, six auctioneers going at one time. You'd be, if you're by yourself here, you'd be running from one place to another in a hurry. Oh, how about a wood splitter, man? Look at that. That's a nice looking wood splitter. Make kindling out of that. Tires, ropes, timing lights. What's a timing light? What's a timing light? Now here's, here's competition for those, that um, 500i. Look at that. That's it, man. Probably a nice little top saw. There's another saw back there. A million chainsaws here. A million chainsaws. There's another one of those things. Yeah, they don't have any wood up here today. Usually this barn up here is just stocked with wood. I guess they're, uh, this is the show pavilion. No, but usually that was always in the days in the past, that was always loaded with wood. Just rows and rows of wood. Guess it's not. We're about to the end of the stuff that I'm interested in. Now they got uh, all sorts of refrigerators. Washing machines, dryers. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Hey, hey there's a little ice machine. I got a feeling that's probably what that is. Can't get into it. Maybe it's a trash can. Yep. Keeps dummies out of it, doesn't it? There's that generator you're looking for. Well, have you seen enough or you want to keep walking around this little Beckett burner? Uh-oh, I think I can get over top of this one. Oh, my goodness. And there's one more up there with building stuff in there, but I'm not really interested in building stuff. Nice doggies. I like the dogs. Probably are Hello, hound dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is a food, uh, a food here. There'll be a line at that all day long tomorrow. They got pretty good food there. All right, we'll keep walking up this way. I've seen about everything I need to see. Well, I've seen everything I should ha should see. Yeah, I am kind of interested in that. Be interested in what it goes for. Went for 500 bucks, it'd be a good thing. It looks like it somewhere along the line it crashed. Probably hadn't run in quite some time. <sighs> got oil in it, doesn't look too bad. He's got a longer dipstick on his than I do mine. It's too bad the uh, side panel cover's missing. Got a nice little hydraulic, little hydraulic valve off the camshaft there. Oh, here's the two side panels. Uh, let's see. When did it take a crash? Now I don't know what the, oh those are electric solenoid, 12 volt solenoid operated things. Fuel pump starter. Uh, where's the governor? Okay, governor up there. 
that's good here's a something to regulate it you know that'd be kind of a fun toy to get Where, where's the hydraulic going to going to never never land they've done must have been running somewhere along the line because it's uh covered up doubt that there's a battery in it nope it says 204 hours um which is not bad it's got some kind of probably override shutdown on it huh this might be a no nah, it's a it got to be an air cleaner i don't know what it is it goes to nowhere who knows what that is that's good you know that went to the solenoid to operate all those valves over there electric hook it up and there's a um I can't think what I'm thinking of. Propane gas, help it start thing. That's a neat little setup. Snow removal. You know what that was? This is a power unit off a big ass snow blower. A big, excuse me, snow blower. That's what that is. And that worked the hydraulics to make make the uh, chute probably go around left and right. That turned the auger. So I guarantee you that's what that is. Now that I'm looking at it. So that's probably actual hours on it. You know how how many hours do you get snow? Be interesting to see what that goes for but i don't know if i want to spend the whole day here trying not to get something like i said this is probably thermostatically controlled to open and shut neat toy neat toy i kind of like it well we've chewed up about enough time for you guys saw two two engines that i like don't know why i buy them engines i, I need my head checked we got the uh little RTV things over there a couple things over there it's not too bad of a show for like I said it, it's wound down for years and I think it's uh, after COVID it's just starting to come back up little break from I had to take a break from uh, sawmilling so I'm gonna put this in between all the other videos so I might throw I mean, you know I might throw this on tonight who knows see if that's uh Gregory up there he's the guy that Roy he's the guy that runs this and his dad Phil eh, it kind of doesn't look like him he's probably down in the office hiding Got a little excitement going on I go up and take a look at the trucks but by the time I walk up there we'd be out of 30 minutes 20 minutes about long enough so Thought you'd come by see where I might be tomorrow instead of working at the sawmill. It was raining this morning. I was cleaning up while it was raining. Got a little bit more done. Anyhow, I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you like the look around. I'm going to keep looking for a little while longer. And if I see anything, I'll make a short of it. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for being here. Hit the like button, subscribe button. And if anybody's interested in this auction that you might know of, send it to a friend. It's here in Harrod County, Maryland. And uh, there's something for everybody here. We'll see you now. Bye-bye.